What's going on YouTube? Welcome to a Monday rant. Welcome to my channel, A Journey to the Fitness. So this video, um, you know, yeah, I'm just going to try to explain it this way. So this video is about something that actually I've been trying to implement um, in my training, and it seems to work pretty well. Man, I need to learn to stand up straight more because I'm hunching. Um, anyway, uh, I keep losing my train of thought. <laughs> Whew, this is how today's going, but you know, we're still going to post it because why not? Anyway, this is about when you're training. So, I got this idea off of a YouTuber. Um, I'm going to probably post them down at the bottom uh, because I have to actually look up their last name. I know uh, he's Kevin DeHalt, but I can't think of what his last name is. Um, that's here nor there. The dude, I respect him a lot. Uh, he's crazy strong. He did 225 pounds recently for 75 reps. I mean, dang, dude. Um, but uh, something he talked about, um, how he transforms into the Hulk, is something that I use now. And it's really helped me. So, the Hulk, to him, is all his raw negative emotions. All the things he's gone through. And he's gone through a lot. Uh, if you look at his, uh, if if you look at his his life, he talks about a lot of things that I won't go into it because I don't really know it, um, and it's not my story to tell. If you do, if you are curious, uh, I'd recommend you go watch one of his videos where he talks about it. Um, I have not had a, all of that happen. I've not had a lot of that happen that he's uh, had, but I understand what he's talking about. I deal with a lot of insecurity, especially in my body. That's why I'm starting to do videos shirtless, right? That's why I'm kind of trying to put myself out there. Because I have insecurities that I need to work on that bug me every day. So, I take all of that, that anger that I get, because we all get angry, that insecurity, that whatever is bothering me. And when I'm in the gym, I let it all out. And I use it. That way it doesn't stay inside of me. Because otherwise, that's what happens. You get angry, it stays inside of you. It just kind of like filling a bottle, right? When you get too high with a bottle, what happens? It blows. And that's what a lot of people do. So, something that I'm implementing. And I wanted to thank Kevin DeHalk. I can't think of your last name. I'm sorry. Uh, for, for, for finally making me understand that. I know people call it beast mode and... Um, yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of names for it. I can't think of them at the moment right now because it's just one of those days, but there's a lot of things like that going on. Thank you for explaining it for a way that I can now use it. And if you want to try it, I would almost, I mean, at least give it a try. I'm not a professional, but I will say that it definitely has helped me. Um, just letting all that stuff just just work out all that raw emotion so that it's not um, bothering you in your real life, in your regular life. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.